Hi everyone, this is Asid and today I'll show you how you can create a capture security image for your website using PHP. So let's get started. If you're already familiar with capture code image and you just want to learn how to you how to code it using PHP, so you can skip this part. It's a very basic example which contains a form, an input box, a capture image and a send button. If I refresh the page, with each page refresh you can see the image gets updated with a new new value a new number it's a randomly generated number a five digit number it shouldn't have to be a number by the way it could be alphanumeric values so don't worry i'll show you all the versions okay so let's give it a try six seven four two five if i click send this will say matched and if i type something else a different number that doesn't match with this number this time it will say invalid captcha code invalid captcha code so why do we use this? What's the reason behind this? So let's take an example. Let's say you build a website for uh, your client and the client asks you to put a login system as well, a login form as well on one on one of your on one of the website page. So you used this version. This expects a username and a password. Here's a password. That's it. The login button obviously will be used to submit the form. So the user will type some username and a password. Password would be ob obviously visible in the form of asterisk like this. So this type of form could be very harmful for your website. Why? Because uh, this could be used, this could be misused by any of the boards. A board is basically a software which can try to submit information on your website. A programmer can write a board to submit information specifically on your website to misuse your website. So this is very dangerous. This version is very dangerous. So I will not recommend you to go with this version. Here's another version. This one. It is uh, a little different from the left one. It has an additional field which is a captcha input field. Also a captcha image. If the board will try to use this form, it won't be successful. Why? Because the board will the board will be able to fill in use some username, some password, but at this point, the board will remain unable to fill in the captcha part because th this image cannot be processed by a board. I mean it's not a guarantee that this type of image cannot be processed by a board. If the board was uh, smart enough, sorry, it can easily process this image. But don't worry, you can make your image very hard to read. So I'll show you that example as well. Alright guys, so this is it for this lesson and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial.